friends i am here to disturb you with another email or sorry um another video i um was sending work emails and um good thing i'm going to be starting therapy tomorrow because my work environment is it's interesting because you know the world of Everyone is so socially correct and politically correct and everyone's becoming so biased. Um, it's probably best to have some peace of mind. That way you don't um, say the wrong things to people. And um, yeah, that's all I'm going to say. I can't wait. Um, but I thought of something was coming up today uh, I was speaking to my mom this morning and we talked about um, God and choices and she brought up a term and I still cannot remember what she said <clears throat> but she said um, the I forget what she called it but basically free will is what but the way she said it was so on point. It was like those who chose, um, she said, like, like conscious freedom. I was like, that never came out of my mind. So uh, my mom was just talking about how, I don't even know what topic we were on, but I think we were talking about my, my dad and family and growing up and you get to a point in life where you just, you just learn that you can't be all up in here when you finally let go that free zone uh, your conscious uh, your conscious minded will, your conscious will I think that's what my mom said um, but anyways and then in my comments uh, there's a cool guy named Ma Pizza I, dude bro, we need to hang out <laughs> but um he, or the comments in my last video, piggybacks what I was telling my cousin. Uh, I was talking to my cousin this afternoon, and she um, was talking about cursing. And she's like, you know, I still consider myself a Christian woman, but, you know, sometimes I just gotta cuss someone out. <laughs> and I told her, like, do you really think that there is a, a guy, a man, a old elder floating in the sky in the universe right now who is keeping track of how many times you made a mistake or cursed or whatever and is planning on you to go to hell because you cannot get it right <laughs> so i drew up this little um thing for everybody and i'm just gonna free flow with this because i really was like hmm I kind of understand. So what my cousin was talking about, she was saying King James, King James Bible, King James, King James. She said he rewrote the Testament. And I was like, yeah, he did. He rewrote the Testament. But King James, if you guys didn't know, or um, how, what's the logo? King James is one of those people. King James is a Freemason. So if, <laughs> if you can control the narrative, guess what? You control the world. <laughs> so there is this whole story about the tablets um, given from Temple Mount, right? Moses. This not so smart person came and it's true it's not my words it's just what the text said <clears throat> he had to have his brother Aaron help him out and Moses brought these two tablets that kind of sort of kept everyone in in, a, in an order in law and anytime that you have law and order um you basically 
imprison those who break the law, right? The ones who go against the law. So in order to keep people sustained in the law, you have to give them salvation. You have to give them a, an image of salvation. And then you have to um, harass them with, there's death for having salvation. So peace of mind and death, when there's law and order, and you're told what the laws are and you can't break them, you only have some options. Either you break free and you go to uh, the only source that will allow you to get away with breaking the law, and you still get to keep your salvation, but you got to join them in order to get that money bag. So I call it the matrix because it's, it's constant torment over and over and over and over. Um, like you guys know, uh, the last movie, Dark Phoenix, her arms are open. Um, if you guys Google search Baywatch with uh, Dwayne The Rock, the Rock Johnson... Um, his arms are open. Um, who else? There was another... Oh, uh, De Deadpool. Deadpool had a movie where his arms are open. So a lot of times, I, I had a weird epiphany. And my epiphany was, perhaps all these entertainers and um, actors... They they are trying to tell us something. See, a lot of times I tell people um, they're not necessarily against us. They're not like at least I don't think so. I know that they have to answer to a source and they have to answer to you know a higher power, or whatever you want to call it. But I'll go in the light. There we go. Um, but I don't. I I just think these messages go out. It, over and over and over for those who catch on to it will catch on to it and those who don't they get stuck um, like I think about the um, the ones who they do all that stuff with their eyes like they're coming their eyes or <clears throat> they're doing the shh <clears throat> oh my throat chakra um, when they see that's why I don't like to do those symbols you guys um, when they do that, I think they're trying to subliminally tell you, look for the answers. I honestly think so. Even though people will find a corruption in anything and everything, some people will do anything to an extreme to have fame as long as they get to feel important. So that is the matrix. That is the whole system. That's what it's all about. Um, like, I think about Ariana Grande, and her music's pretty good, very relevant to what we're all going through, but she's part of it, too. She just told us about Seven Rings. It means uh, Saturn worship, the Seven Rings of Saturn. There's seven levels of, um, and that's also 33rd degree uh, um, achievement, where you could buy what you want, do what you want with your money, and she was bragging about it. Jennifer Lopez, too. She was singing about dinero, dinero, dinero. Cardi B, she was singing about money, money. You know that song. So all those songs talk about money. It just means that they had achieved being accepted into uh, the King James philosophy. Like, they don't want to fall below into the torturous salvation, which is opposite of salvation. They want to blah, 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 blah. So let's go to the other side. I'll wrap this up shortly. So we're in the free will, right? And the this concept of this is... And I was talking to Ma Pizza through our last comments on YouTube. And in my mind, I was like, wait a minute. If he made us in his own divine image, and this is what I told my cousin too. Let's say if you make a pizza, right? Oh, that was awful. Oh no, that's the wrong symbolism. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm tired. Okay, so let's say we made a pizza, right? 
you guys didn't know, I used to be an artist, but I took a little break. Okay, so if you make a pizza, someone eats that pizza. They have now become, they have now consumed the pizza. They don't become the pizza, but they have consumed the pizza. And the pizza is no more. But if something says, I've created you in my own divine image, it means it's already here. So it just, it shows that there's nothing up there in the solar. There isn't a man being, I think the whole concept of God is changing to me. Like I pray to God still. I pray to source. I pray to the almighty because the text means the, the beginning, the source, the, the, the thought, the element, the matter. And that matter transfigured itself into electricity, fire, water, air, um, the stars, the sun, the moon, and the binary systems. Um, that all goes into consciousness, the mind. It enhances and uh, opens the DNA, the channels, and thus it's there. When you realize that it is you, kind of like you know, um, like your veins, you know, there's veins that have blood and there's cells, right? So if you had God being the vein, we are the cells, every one of us are cells. Uh, we're on that flow with, it's the same, there's different parts to it, but I was in deep thinking today, like, because I don't think a being would be floating up there waiting and watching us go through all this torment and, and simulation and whatever. If, if um, for lack of words, if God basically exploded into us, we're just finding ourselves back to being one again. You know, it's it's kind of like if a being wanted to experience what his own creation was like, he would only want to split himself into a bajillion, million, quadrillion, 144,000 times, 144,000 times, 144,000. This is all the experience of the one thing that makes any sense. And it all comes back together as one. My theory is that it, if it did start with the Big Bang Theory, follow me, follow me. So I'm going to be a theorist. If we start with the Big Bang Theory, that means something happened in the future. And it, 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 I think, I don't know if you guys ever did research, but two stars, when they collide and they spiral, they spontaneously combust and then become one star. I believe there probably could have been a Big Bang Theory. We've been told... We've been told truths and they've been debunked by saying, oh, that's a myth. Oh, that's a lie. So I'm starting to think whatever we are told is the truth. And whatever we're not told is a conspiracy theory that is not true. So if they didn't tell us that there wasn't a Big Bang Theory and we were to kind of sort in the truth community, find out there was, it wouldn't be true. Because a lot of things that we discover, there's already factual proof of these things out there. Channeling messages, um, uh, contacting higher self, starships. Uh, um, you guys are, you get the point. Um, so my concept of God, my thought of God is that each of us literally are um, through our biomechanics, through our our feelings through our hearts, our actions from our, even like, I think when we, you know, we all make boo-boos. We, we, I think some of us still go out to drink here and there. Some people choose to do other things. People like the DMT trips, whatever. I think this is all just God experimenting what his own creation is like. Let me go into as, let me be part of as many people as possible and let me experience everybody as much as possible. And that's why I think there's a calling on certain people, why 
we just didn't end up in too much trouble. We didn't end up in too much darkness because it, it all comes back to one at the end. We all get collected. We all get raptured, which means that we all go back to one source. All this gets wiped out. The experience of being here in a, so many billions of lives at one time, one quantum, uh, one quantum shift um, to come back to one. And it's his own decision or it's or his or source's time. Whenever they decide they want to go back to what it was, then that's the only entity that knows the day, the time, and the hour. Um, when they say not even the sun, because it wasn't literally the sun of God. Um, my theory, Jesus was Palladian. He came from a star system. Star system is still part of God. It, it was his first born. It was the first created uh, race before Earth, in my opinion. <clears throat> because the Old Testament mocked the firstborn. It talked about killing of the firstborn. So I try to look and think really hard about um, how you could take clues from the Bible and... You can make theories of everything, but I think my theory makes a lot of sense. But if we look at here about Moses and the Ten Commandments, there is also two tablets. <clears throat> and the emerald tablets that were given to Thoth, Toth, T-O-H-O-T-H. -O -O I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> Come on, pen. hi -ya. My pen isn't working, y'all. Are you serious? <laughs> what is going on? Golly. <clears throat> so there's Thoth. <clears throat> Perhaps I should stop talking because... My voice is going away. The powers that think they be are trying to shut my mouth up. <clears throat> so Doth Toth Doth, because of him, we have the Hermetics system. S it D. Hermetics. Hermetics and Hermes. If you guys do the research, Greek mythology. <clears throat> you have Hermes from Hermetics. That was Doth Toth. They said that there was a transfiguration in the word um, Doth changed himself and it became Hermes. Same as Jesus when he was at the, the oh, I forget what mountain it was. But he was on the mount with Elijah and Moses. And they said that his figure changed. Same thing. So I'm trying to figure out the connection between when Jesus was on the mountain and he transfigured. And when Thoth transfigured into Hermes. Somebody's identity is hiding in plain sight. So that's my little... Um, part one of my God concept is all these different like switcheroos that were happening. It's because they were all just like us. We're all, it's almost like if you were to take, let's just say that pizza earlier. No matter if they're people who are the pepperoni, the cheese, the, the sauce, the crust, um, God is the dough. And without the dough, there is, there's no pizza. And then without toppings, there's no, there's no flavor. There's no oomph to that pizza. So I'm going with that concept. <laughs> Thank my cousin, Michelle, for, uh, for this idea and this uh, inspiration of a video. And also, it piggybacks the comment that came through in my last video. And the question he asked me before I go, uh, he said, is can this infer that 
heaven is in fact here on earth right now? And the answer is absolutely. Absolutely it is because <clears throat> if everything was kicked out, all the fallen were kicked out, the, the, the Nephilim, the archangels, everyone was kicked out of heaven. The question is, did they do something bad and got kicked out? Or was it just like, you know, let's try something new. Let's all just kind of get on board for a moment. Let's all get these different experiences and let's erase our memories of what happened. And through our feelings, emotions, dominance, feminine sensitivity, uh, masculinity, fear, and compassion, we find ourselves going back to where we started. It, it's the ascension process. That's what I truly believe. Everything's all told wrong. It, how am I correct or why am I correct? Because I just go with the, the evidence of everything that everyone's left out and not go with what everybody is telling us because all these ministers and preachers and people in the congregation, they're not really preaching the truth. They're just reciting uh, the clues. They are just reciting uh, the instructions to the Nephilim. They are telling the Nephilim or they're telling the other beings, they're telling the greys, they're telling the ones in hidden in plain sight. They're verbalizing the story. And I was channeling earlier today and I was thinking about um, why immigration is such an issue right now in California where I live. And that's perfectly the answer because it's what is entering here, what is residing here I don't know where else there, there's a border issue, but ours in California is really bad. But if you can hide extraterrestrial beings, this is what I like to say. Um, if you can disguise and make them undetected with all of the flooding of different entities and people running in here at our border, you're not going to catch an alien running in here. You're not going to catch a star bean. You're not going to catch a Palladian. It's the only way to undetective, unde to put them here on an undetected level. Um, this is why I think, you know, the HIV epidemic, the AIDS epidemic got out of hand. Same with, um, uh, what is it, Ebola? And what's the other one? Uh, Lyme disease <clears throat> because when ooh, I think I'm getting a download I can tell because usually my heart like palpitates really fast I don't know if you guys see me the camera's shaking that's my heart um, that probably explains the flu vaccinations too because they're not really about the flu vaccinations it's the, I mean <laughs> The flu virus let's just inject you know some human dna in you then you're like human i'm just saying allegedly allegedly um because you think about all the different vaccinations there are all vaccinations were really uh for things that were uncurable so how is a vaccination going to defuse someone from getting something when there is no cure <laughs> It's like, where's the vaccination for cancer, if that's the point? I'm not laughing at it for that reason. But, you know, why isn't there a vaccination for cancer? But there's a vaccination for hepatitis, which is uncurable. And there's a uh, tuberculosis, vac uh, not a vaccination, but the TB shot. And I think there's medication for it. But I'm just saying. And then now they have the medications called PrEP. So it prevents you from getting the... Uh, human immunodeficiency virus HIV or AIDS but there's no vaccination to cure it or to diffuse it so I'm just really lost I know the medical pharmacy industry pharmaceutical industry is all jacked up but in some weird way there's something that we don't know and it just went like do 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 like, while we weren't looking <laughs> And that's why every time we look up, we see all these things in the sky, all these cloaked objects in the sky. 
And uh, I'm looking at Rex Bear League Project. He just posted about Thoth. Toth. Thoth. Um, my phone shows me no uh, notifications. So I'm going to put Rex Bear's post uh, in my description box so you guys can check that out right after my speech. So have a good day, and we'll continue this dialogue uh, tomorrow. Have a good night.